Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Tisha Z. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. So, guys, as always, minding my own business, I swear, right? Minding my own business when I came across this post that read, if you want to bust the cheeks, just say it. Don't pretend. So, obviously, that's what this video is about that I'm about to play. Um, this video comes from a podcast based down the UK called Tipsy Talk. Without any further delay, Let's get into it. <laughs> on purpose. Yeah. On purpose. I've had my, I've, I've been honest, I've had my moments. Well, you book guys on purpose? Yeah. Well, not well, accidentally on purpose. Yeah. Purposely accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> you girls, Sorry. You. I like you. Sorry, babe. No, no, I hear that. Also, as well, what do you think is lacking for men these days then? Everything. I'm joking. Honesty. Break it down, please. Honesty, uh, most men are afraid to just tell you if they just want to have sex with you or not. You know, just tell me. Don't try and fool me into thinking you actually care and you want to get to know me. If you want to just say it. Simple. Sorry, excuse my language. But as you know, if a guy came up to you and just said it to you, you're gonna nine times, well, majority, you're gonna say no in there. Yeah, yeah. No, not really. It depends. Not always. You not always. Tell the girl in order for her to make her own choice. It's our choice. So, guys, you heard it for yourself, right? The host asked the two female guests. He said, "Hey, what do you think is lacking for men today?" Which the female guests responded and said, "Honesty." She said, "Listen, if you want to bust those cheeks, right?" She was like, "If you just want to, just let me know." Right? Just say it. Don't pretend. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> Listen, before I give my own personal opinion, I'm going to read some of these comments and then we're going to talk about it. So our first commenter is a female who says, I hear no lie. So of course, she's agreeing with the women saying, if you just want to smash men, just be honest. So this commenter says the success rate on that is like zero percent. I'll stick to sugarcoating my lies. <laughs> hey, Sounds like truth to me, right? But women don't like that coffee. This coffee smells like shit. And we've got a female that actually responded to that comment. She said, sex under deception is the cousin of grape. But I'm guessing men aren't ready for that convo. Oh my goodness. I'm going to hold my peace, man. I'm holding my peace. This next commenter says, this is cap. Capital on the cap. Most women will not accept that. Even if they just want to sleep with you, they usually still want a date, etc. So let's keep it all the way 100%. Uh-oh. Sounds like facts to me. Sounds like this man might be aware of female nature, right? And I know you guys watching this video are aware of female nature. You won't fall for this. If this is the worst advice I've ever heard, I'm just going to be honest. Worst advice I've ever heard. And women always say this. Just be honest. If you just want to smash. And I know you guys have done this, right? If you just want to smash, just let me know. I'm telling you, even if she actually wants that, even if that's all she wants, most women don't want you to be that straightforward about busting those cheeks. Women telling men to just be straight up when it comes to bust and cheeks is just a very clear show of their lack of understanding of themselves as women, right? But I know you guys aren't going to fall for that bad advice. Why? Because you're no longer blue pill, right? You're no longer a blue pill simp with no game, right? You're no longer that guy with no style who plays video games in his mom's basement and is fat as hell with bad acne all over his skin. Or at least you're working to not be that guy, right? and working on improving yourself. And guys, listen up, speaking of skin, men need smooth skin. That's why I'm excited to have Teach Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. For the past two months, this product right here has helped me start and maintain my skincare routine. There's nothing more attractive to women than a man who takes care of himself. And part of that is taking care of your skin. Stop using all those two-in-one products and level up your skincare routine. Honestly, and I mean this, it's the best skincare system for guys like you and me. So I personally recommend that you start with their level one system, which comes with all their basics. A daily face wash to get rid of all the dirt and grime on your skin. A two times a week exfoliation scrub to get rid of dead skin cells. This one's my favorite right here, just because you feel so refreshed after you're done using it. You can literally feel this stuff working. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin. You need sunscreen, guys. Don't be the guy that's walking around who doesn't use anything 
both soap and water. And finally, a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. And the best part about Teach Handling is that they make it so easy because every box comes with an instructional card that tells you when to use each product and how much you should use and in what order. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining healthy skin effortless. But hey, you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star customer reviews from satisfied customers all over the world. So in addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, exclusive and monthly deals, pause and cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And they also have low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the first link you see pinned to the top of the comment section and also in my description and you get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. Seriously guys, that's an amazing deal. Click that link below, fast, not slow, and get started today. So this next commenter says, this wouldn't work. I don't know guys, let me know. Cause I know you guys have tried it. I know I've tried it personally, right? Just been straight up with the woman being like, hey, I find you attractive. Um, I don't want a relationship with you, but I will. Bust those cheeks. Come on, man. Because <laughs> in most cases, man, the reason why guys do this is, number one, um, they're not ready to settle down, right? They want to, you know, have fun, exercise their options. Women do it, too. Women do it more. Correction, women do it more. I will always share that stat that I, um, that I saw about there are more virgin boys 25 years and under today than they are virgin women 25 years and under in the US. So women are surprised that guys want to experiment. When they get to experiment from a very young age, somebody is blowing that back out, dog. Don't let her convince you otherwise. Let's keep going. But guys, I want to know, have you tried it? Have you tried the honest thing? Just approaching a girl being like, hey, I just want this. And how did it turn out for you? I, I think I know how it turned out for you, but I want to know. Let me know. Give me a story. Share your experience down below. This next commenter says, do not, I repeat, do not fall for this. <laughs> and then we have a female commenter, uh oh, a female commenter here who disagrees with the chick and says, don't fall for it guys, with nine likes. And so this is a really interesting conversation because on the surface, it sounds like the right thing to do is to be honest with the chick, right? To be honest about your intentions. It sounds nice when she said, you know, I just wish guys would just be honest. If you just want to smash, just say you want to smash so that I can let you know if I want to smash too, right? It sounds good. It sounds like the honest and right thing to do, but then there's the truth. Then there's the RP, then there's the reality, then there's female nature. And all this guys, why women can't just be honest about what they want, especially when it comes to um, bust and cheeks, even though she wants that, why well, they can't be honest is that women can't accept accountability. They can't because she's afraid, most women, even if she wants to do it, I know you guys have been through this, even if she wants to do just that, most women will say stuff like, now don't try anything, right? But she's over at your house at 2 a.m. in the morning with nothing but booty shorts on and a bra and laying over with her booty facing, you know, facing you while you're both laying on the bed. And she says, don't you try anything funny? <laughs> like, I know you guys have been in these situations, right? And if you haven't, watch my other videos on game, right? You need to, you need to watch other videos on game. A woman will literally tell you, yes, um, I'm going to come over or you can come over but nothing's gonna happen. Knowing damn well that she invited you over for that reason, but you say, you can come over, but don't think anything's gonna happen. Don't think that you're gonna get to bust his cheeks. And what happens nine times out of 10, when you do go over, you're busting those cheeks fast, not slow. I need a cafe latte. Get me a cafe latte. Right? But women don't like that coffee. It's hard for women to accept how they want to be perceived versus how they actually act. Going up to a woman, even if she wants a relationship from you and she's looking for a relationship, the last person that a woman wants to date is a guy who on the first date is like, hey, um, yeah, I'm looking for a girlfriend and you seem pretty cool. So, hey, 
I hope maybe you can be my girlfriend, right? It looks desperate. They like the discovery. They like the thrill. Women love the game. They won't admit they like the game, but they like the game. And they're afraid that if she just says what she wants straight up, or if she just, you know, lets you have it real easy, that you're going to think she's a 304. But she doesn't know that you are pure aware and you already think she's a 304. <laughs> But they're afraid, man. They're afraid to be judged. They're afraid to be honest. This is women. They will never change. And I'll tell you guys this right now. Those two women who were just talking. The only reason they were saying, you know what? I just want a guy to be honest with me and tell me what he wants. You know when women start saying that the most? They say that once they've hit that epiphany phase. When they're young, man, they don't care. They're enjoying it. They're like, man, you want to smash? They're more likely to agree with you if you're going to be honest. Does it work once in a while? It does. More likely to work when they're younger. But when they're getting older and now they want to capitalize on the provider guy, right? The guy who they want to marry. They've used all their youth to party, have fun. Now it's hard to decipher the men who just want to have fun and the men who actually want to be serious. That's the only reason. And usually you see those women in their older years being like, if you just want it, just tell me. Be a man. Be a man and just say it. Stop beating around the bush. Don't fall for that game, man. Don't fall for that trap. But hey. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. Have you ever been in a situation where you've just been blue, brutally honest? And I believe it does happen. I don't believe that's the way to go. Nine times out of 10, most women, if not 10 times out of 10, majority of the time, if you go talk to 10 of them, well, first off, all 10 of them would tell you no, right? If you ask them straight up, but if you seduce her, if you know game, if you take her out, you probably get her to want to smash. Even if she knows that you're probably not going to give her a relationship. Ask me how I know. Hey guys, I appreciate you for checking out this episode of The Coffee Pot. Let me know what you guys thought of the content. And don't forget to click that link at the top to get your first order of Teach Henley. My name is Shishi Zed. Until next time, man. I'm out. Peace.